So what we gonna do? We gonna drive out. We gonna head out, girl. DA got that dope. Let me just take this out because this is going to be annoying. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm taking you outside with me today. And my car is not that clean, so don't even point it out. I'm going to get a detail soon with this great interior. I'm going to take you guys on a journey. We're going to pick up a few stuff. It's not a full vlog of my day, but I'm going to just vlog me going into the store to pick up my essential shaving item. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and like share and definitely subscribe and come with me for the ride hey skin baby skin so what we gonna do we gonna drive out we gonna head out girl and no i should not be having music playing in my videos i should not be having music playing in the background of the video so we gone so my first stop is definitely going to be the store and well now i have to go pick up a letter from one of the ministries here which is one of the one of our i guess departments like government offices yeah i gotta go do that first and then i'm going to the store okay okay yes i know i should have my seatbelts on guys but you know sorry that is gonna restrict me a bit from vlogging and all that good stuff because I'm holding the camera in my hand. So what is up and what are you guys into today? What y'all doing? Where y'all going? And all that good stuff. How y'all enjoying this beautiful, beautiful? I'm uploading this. Today is Tuesday. Um, but I'm probably gonna upload it tomorrow morning, hopefully, maybe tonight, who knows? Most people wanted to know because I participate in Carnival, which is our, is an annual event here. Trini has it as a Caribbean thing. And the Bahamas, we recently started about four or five years ago. And I participate in Carnival. And I did this, I participated in the actual launch for Carnival. And with participating in the launch for Carnival, I posted some videos and a picture on my Instagram. You guys have to go follow me there. So you guys can keep up with my everyday, you know, life. I put a lot out there. Um, yeah, if you want to, you can go there and follow me there. So you can see the photo for Carnival, the Carnival launch. One of the launches I participated in. And the band that I played, I am playing with and I've always played with is Enigma. And yeah, girls. So we go pick up some items and everyone actually was fascinated about my bikini line and how I keep it so smooth I got numerous DMs about my bikini line would you believe that and honestly I I am pretty much a pretty lucky bird to have I'm been blessed to not have that ingrown hair issue under my chin or on my bikini line under my arms because you know a lot of people a lot of women have those issues so yeah we gonna see what I pick up and the essentials that I use to shave with and I'm gonna give you my tips and tricks as to how I keep my body very smooth so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I use I'm not gonna show you in detail how I shave because of course I can't put that on YouTube guys a man asked me if I was gonna literally show it no baby I can't show it so stay tuned for the rest of the vlog and I love you for coming back. Bye guys. And I'm gonna head out. Let me show you the streets of Nassau while I'm on the road. Hopefully I can do this. Button.
Okay, which aisle? Which aisle? Too fresh. Shaving. <gasps> Shaving. Okay. So, let me show you guys what I pick for shavers. And I never pick these. Why? Because these have one blade. One blade. That's a no no. You're not gonna pick that. You don't just buy it because it's cheap. You have to look at the number of blades. I don't pick this because it only has two blades. You need to get one that is three blades or more. Um, this also has two clips in there and you have to read it. I don't see, this has four blades. This would be a good one. And I think it also has some sort of moisturizing thing on it. But let me show you my go-to inexpensive ones that I usually pick if they have them here. If they have them. My go-to ones that I usually pick is not hair, but this is a really good one. This is also, these are also really good ones. These here. But I have some room and I'm gonna show you guys the ones that I usually usually pick up. These are from these are them right here. These are the ones with the interchangeable clips, but I want the one with the I want the one with the actual shaving part on it. And they don't have it here, but I'm gonna show you when I get home. But never pick these ones or these ones. They're cheap and inexpensive, but they will give you ingrown hairs. These will give you ingrown hairs and these will give you ingrown hairs. The Bixel Lay looks good as well as the Intuition and the Extreme. As for shaving cream, I usually pick up any of the Skin to Mid Skin Therapy. So I either get the Moisturizing Hydrant, Hydrant, I get any of these. This is the one that I have for already. I use, this was this is my go-to actually. I don't use Nair or Heat on my bikini line. I don't use any of them. But I do like this one here. I use this for my legs all the time. To remove hair, this is what I usually use. And then I use the sponge to take the hair off in the shower. But these don't work. So yeah. These are the ones with a lot in it, and a lot of people just pick these up, but these will definitely give you ingrown hairs. All of these little cheap ones, they will, they will, they will mess you right up. They will definitely do it. All of these extra stuff, I don't think it's necessary, but I really, really would recommend these, this hair, shaving cream, and I definitely recommend Nair for legs hair removal or definitely beat for leg hair removal not for your bikini line but also i would definitely recommend these any shaver with three plus or four plus blades so that's what i came to show you guys these are also really good you can use these this is a dual cleansing pad you can also use this or body sponge and this is really good too this is like an exfoliating body cloth and this is what you're going to use to exfoliate before you shave not after to irritate you okay so i'm going to pick this one up because i can exfoliate and cleanse with this all right okay, i'm also going to get this one too for the sake of the video so i can show you guys exactly what you can use these are very important for having smooth smooth non no ingrown hairs especially by your bikini line it's very important you use these and you'll be free of bumps free all 
right, guys. Of course, like I said, I'm going to show you guys my es essential saving I um tools. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna show you. You guys already seen in this grocery store exactly, not grocery store in the pharmacy where all of the options that you should and should not buy but I'm gonna show you exactly what I get, what I picked up, what I use. Now, I always use this to shave legs, if I'm using a razor on my legs, if I'm using a razor under my arms, on my bikini line, I definitely go for Skin to Mint. They're Skin to Mint with lotion infused, and I think this is just as good. It's just as soft. It has vitamin E and olive butter. It's just as good. Once you use this, of course, you shake it, you spray it, it comes out like a like a cream. Once you spray this, sis, you know what? Let me show y'all how I shave my arms right now. Right now, let me see if I have a shaver where I don't have to open my pocket. I usually use under my armpits, and I'm gonna show you guys how I shave under my armpits. My armpits are a bit dark, and I can tell you why my armpits are dark. My armpits are dark is because I was using degree deodorant. And that degree deodorant actually caused my arm to get dark because it is high in aluminum. So if you can get natural deodorants that work for you or any deodorant that um, is low in aluminum, that will help your armpits to be a little bit lighter. While I do shave, I do also get sugared time and time again. I get sugared on my legs and I get sugared on my bikini line and possibly my armpits sometimes, very rare, because you know, armpit hairs grow back quickly. Anyway, this is how I shave under my armpits and we are gonna get into the video. And I'm not going in the bathroom today because you're gonna see it right here. So we are gonna shake the skin to it up, open it up and spray because my armpits do need to shave, by the way. So y'all gonna see this, and this is very personal, but you, you know, you understand. So I take it and I just put a little bit there and I'm gonna just rub that on and it's gonna foam up as normal. Boom. So pretty much that is what I do. I don't leave it on because it's not necessary to leave on. It's not necessary to leave on. And the shavers that I do use is, the shavers that I use is the Bixalil. Twilight, I think it's just the color, it really doesn't matter. Um, it really doesn't matter which color that you use. These come in bonus packs. And the reason I get these is I buy like three packs at a time or so. Have them in my cabinet on storage this has three blades or more depending on the ones that you buy and like i said earlier your blades must have three or more in them for them to be effective so that they don't yank on the hair so that everything runs smoothly so that your body is going to be smooth sis smooth so you take that handy dandy shaver of course it has a protective layer take your handy dandy shaver Some people go down, some people go up. However, the direction of my hair grows downward. So I just take this and I go just like this. And you don't have to go, you don't have to shave hard. You don't have to press hard, very lightly. It's not necessary for you to over press your armpit. Now, prior to doing this, you should take an exfoliant and you could always use a loofah because this is a natural exfoliant or you can use an exfoliating body cloth. The exfoliating body cloth is similar to the loofah. It has the same texture pretty much in a different shape and you would scrub and scrub and scrub and not scrub, but you know, work in circular motions and then you go ahead and shave under your armpits. Then you go ahead and shave under your armpits. That will prevent ingrown hairs and all that good stuff. So, yeah. And so this is what you wanna do. And now I'm going to have a clean canvas. I don't 
do anything after this however after shaving I don't go directly and use um, I don't go directly and use deodorant I give it some time I can't say how long because of course you would have just come out the shower probably shave your arm but at night so you don't have to put on deodorant the night before if you don't choose to you wash out your shaver tap that out tap out the excess um, shaving cream hair and all that good stuff and put your cap back on so that the shaver is so that the shaver lasts so I'm gonna take my wipe and I'm just gonna wipe all of the excess um, shaving cream off of me my armpits are dark but that's fine. So I dry that just for the video. So that is what I do in terms of shaving my armpits. I do that not all the time. If I'm not going anywhere, I don't shave under my arms because I know shaving would darken the area or as well as causing grown hairs if done excessively. So moving on to the bottom area armpits i can't show you the vaginal area but i can tell you it's pretty much the same exact steps scrub your skin to mitt your shaver i don't use nair i don't use beat none of those things on my bikini line because my bikini line does not like it i kind of feel like it's too strong even if i get the sensitive one on my bikini line i can kind of feel it especially when i put underwear on after or something like that i always could feel it so make sure you exfoliate first and then you're going to shave your bikini line in the direction the hair grows if you don't do that then you possibly will get an ingrown hair or a few okay because you want to now go in that direction so that it will prevent i cannot go the in the opposite direction because to me that yanks on my hair and i can't i can't do that because now i'm gonna get pumps and i know it's gross and i know it's a bad feeling when you have a bikini line that is like this and full of it and then it becomes when they dry up they kind of look bad and then when they dry up the hair is growing back so sometimes you want to go back and then you end up shaving again and again and again not working on the problem but the biggest tip I would give you is you must ladies you cannot shave your bikini line every time you're going to have SEX you cannot shave your bikini line every time the man wants to go down because if you do that you're gonna end up with ingrown hairs I know we all want a clean whistle but if you cannot afford lasering or waxing or sugaring that's gonna prolong the hair from growing back then ladies you're gonna have to you know let it the sprigs just be okay you know they are right with that I'm pretty sure any men follow me comment down below if y'all okay with that because you can't do it all the time I'm sure y'all will prefer a little bit of hair than a bunch of bumps tell me a line exactly so you want to make sure that everything is going well in that area so the best bet for me will just to take my shaver once my shaving cream is there make sure everything is wet exfoliated then you're gonna put your shaving cream on you take your shaver and you shave in the direction that the hair grows to me my hair grows going in this way into my vaginal area so it kind of grows going downward my vagina goes this way so it grows kind of like downward so I kind of end up shaving going together like that to get the hair off that's how I kind of shave each time that is a very good tip now for shaving in the buttocks in the butthole you're gonna have to lift a cheek guys you're gonna have to lift a cheek and then shave the other side then hold the other cheek and shave the other side you understand what i mean if you want to you can take a mirror but the mirror to me you can use a handheld mirror like these and once you use the handheld mirror it'll give you a nice guide to get everything or everywhere underneath there make sure you use soap 
I don't put these too close. I don't put skin to mat very close to my vaginal area because it will irritate you. Possibly you can get an, a, it possibly will throw your pH off. So I don't use this once I get into the holes. By the holes, you don't use this. I just go with a Dove Unscented and or maybe one of your Vagisil washes unscented or ph balance wash and you can use that to shave your hip hole <laughs> not your hip hole around your anal area and then around your vaginal area that is what you use you don't use skin to mitt in that area you only use skin to mitt on your bikini line i don't use it inside or anything like that make sure shave with something unscented shave with something that's actually a vaginal wash or shave it in that area because you don't want anything to throw your ph off so make sure once you lift that cheek you shave you lift the other cheek you shave make sure the shavers are not rusting either once you get to a point where you've used your shaver say about i think five times max if you shave in your armpits maybe twice a week I think that's it for your shaver because sometimes I can feel when my shaver is yanking on my hair. So what you need to do guys is just make sure you follow these steps because these steps are very, very important. Shaving your legs, shaving your arm, but make sure first, number one, you exfoliate first. You have to exfoliate, you have to exfoliate, you have to exfoliate. That will help you. Now for my legs. I definitely, this is easy, or you can shave if you want a quick step. But this hair is what I use. I don't use Nair. For some reason, Nair is a little bit much more stronger than Veet. Veet works. Veet leaves my skin moisturized. It's a sensitive formula, so it doesn't burn. And it also comes with a, um, like a sponge that I can remove the hair with. So once I put this on my legs and I leave this for a while, I go back in the shower or I wait in the shower for those few minutes and then I use the sponge to wipe it off. It's very, very easy, not hard at all. And if you don't grow that many much hair on your legs, then kudos to you. My hair don't grow thick, but it's annoying. And, but my legs look much better when I remove the hair. But I would also, if you can afford it, um, I would encourage sugaring or waxing, but I prefer sugaring above waxing because sugar hot, waxing is warm, um, sugaring is you know a less sticky. I like the sugar method better, better. Yeah, so pretty much that is my shaving tips. Hopefully, you guys like and enjoy the shaving tips that I give you. These items are very to me inexpensive. Skin to Mint Veep may be the most costly on this list. That may be the most costly item, but other than that, you should be totally fine. These are very, very easy steps and you can master shaving. You don't have to have problems and I don't think you would come across ingrown hairs if you follow these steps precisely. Please do not buy any cheap shavers. Please make sure to exfoliate first and definitely make sure to use some sort of soap, cream, unscented if you're gonna shave armpits or anything else for that matter. Make sure to tackle those item, those things first and you should be fine. Also, do not shave right after the other. You have to take a break, allow the hair to grow back. Don't continuously shave right on top of each other. Just when the stubble grows back, you go right back and shave. That's gonna definitely cause ingrown hair. Another tip is if you find that you have another, um, an, an ingrown hair, it's just like ingrown hairs pretty much is hairs that grow out of the pore and tuck into another pore or tuck into the same pore as far as I can remember based on my research. So if you're gonna um, if you're gonna notice something like right there, you can take a tweezer and you can pull the hair out of that pore. If you look closely, you will see that it grows into the other pore or it grows into the same pore. I think it's the other pore that kind of like grows out and then it goes back into the next pore and that is an ingrown hair. And what you can do um, is just take your tweezer and pull it out. And guess what? You won't have an ingrown hair anymore. It, the bump will eventually go away. You don't pick them, you don't squeeze them. 
to avoid any bumps or marks or any or scarring you don't want to do that so yeah guys this is the video and i promised that i'd show you guys exactly what i use shaving or anything like that so thank you guys for coming back to another video i love you guys and bye hopefully you guys enjoy don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks and if you like any more girl talk or informative videos where i give you tips about certain female things you can just let me know girl i have another video for something else and i think you guys are gonna enjoy it wink mm -hmm.